Hello and welcome my Scorpio friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. This is going to be a group reading for my friends born under the Scorpio zodiac sign in celebration of the fall equinox. On Monday we're going to celebrate the fall equinox. Many of us are already enjoying the a beautiful and amazing fall colors that Mother Nature is bestowing on us with this season change. The fall equinox marks a time where Mother Nature is preparing for the cycle of death. This change in energy opens us up to looking at ourselves and our lives and what we need to release. And that's exactly what this reading is going to be about. I'm going to explore what my Scorpio friends can release this fall equinox. The deck I chose for this reading is the uh, Tarot de la Nuit, and I will be ending off the session with an oracle blessing from the Witch's Wisdom Oracle. Like always, I will have links below to both, both these gorgeous decks, so should they speak to you, you can go check them out for yourselves. Alright, my Scorpio friends, let's see what the cards have to say. What should my Scorpio friends be releasing in their lives? this fall equinox. And how can my Scorpio friends maintain the balance of light and dark? Jump over there. That the fall equinox brings us. Okay, got a couple other jumpers. Okay, let's start off. The first card is the Two of Swords. Twos are duality or choice. Swords are all about the truth and knowledge. So this is all about a choice. When you're dealing with your head, it's choice. We go on to the Ace of Swords. Aces are a gift. Swords again, truth and knowledge. So, so far we're basing this reading on a lot of knowledge base here. And we're not stopping. These are all jumpers, by the way, my Scorpio friends. The next card is the Ten of Swords. Tens are a completion and a beginning. The next card, again based in with the Swords and Truth and Knowledge, we have Justice. It's the ninth card in the Major Arcana, and it too is about Truth and Knowledge and Balance. And the final jumper is the Eight of Pentacles. Eights are about movement and manifestation. Pentacles are about growth and abundance. All these cards jumped out for you, my Scorpio friends. Let's get into them a bit more. So the Two of Swords, like I said, is choice. We've got a lot of head thought right here and on top. So what we're looking at is a choice, that duality. The Ace of Swords is all about a gift of knowledge and a gift of truth. The Ten of Swords is kind of a completion and, and a new start. So what this is talking about is you've got a lot on your plate right now and you're going to have to cut through what you don't need and what you need. The best way to start to really figure out what is needed and what isn't is going to be justice, that balancing piece. Justice is a gatekeeper. There's a number of them in the Major Arcana. She is a gatekeeper. And you can tell them because they usually have pillars of some sort. There's a few that don't, but this, the majority of them have the, the, the pillars behind them. She's a gatekeeper. She's going to help cut through what you need and what you don't need on both cards. The Ace of Swords is going to bring you a gift of knowledge. You already have a lot going on. You kind of need to get out of your head here. Pentacles will help here. That importance of grounding yourself, making sure that when you are trying to move forward, that you're trying to keep yourself grounded. It goes back to that balance piece. Too much sword or too much air can help you blow away. The earth and pentacles helps literally ground you so that you can take justice's guidance and cut through what you don't need because there's a lot of it. Too much knowledge is overwhelming. Not only will it blow you away, you kind of become overwhelmed and you don't know what to do next. So balancing that out, 
when you're feeling overwhelmed, it is about taking that time out. What is it that you really need to learn right now? For you, Scorpio, the release is cutting away all this excess crap that you don't need. And we have it. We always do. We get excited about things and then we dive into too many topics. There's so much information out there that we become overwhelmed and desensitized. So it's about taking that step back, determining what it is your goal is. Where is that end piece? What do you want to see on that other side of that gate? Justice will take you there, but you need to make that decision. And it's going to be a very individual decision. When you've made that decision, you're going to need aspects of the Ace and the Ten to go forward. Now, the Eight of Pentacles really comes in not only for that grounding piece, but that skill piece. Eight of Pentacles is usually some guy sitting on a bench hammering out pentacles. It's that hard work piece. Anytime you're looking at a movement, there's work involved. And there's going to be work involved for you too, Scorpio. Taking that work, making that decision, and going forward to that next step. You, when you make those decisions, so when you have made that decision on what it is you really need to learn about right now, the other pieces will fall away you will naturally start to release what you don't need. This isn't a major life dumping. It's not like in January when we say, January 1st, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to save money. Those big changes aren't sustainable. And this will be because it's a natural shift. It's a, some, you're making a decision, and that decision is the pinnacle of what you're going to release. Let's look at what your shadow self wants to add into this reading. The star. It's the 17th card in the major arcana and it's your hopes and dreams. On the other side of justice is the star. Justice and the star are major life altering events. These ones are the day to day tasks. That decision is, it will lead to a major life dis um, alteration for you. But it's a fairly daily task type idea. So on the other side is that dream, that hope. I would like to take this knowledge so that I could do this. I want to achieve this. And that's exactly what you need to answer in this decision. All right, let's look at a blessing. What blessing? does the fall equinox have for my Scorpio friends? And we have yet another jumper. We have the altar. Dedication. Whatever energy and resources you put into this decision and this journey, Scorpio, you're going to get out in the end. And you're going to see it increase as well. Especially when you're putting out positive, loving energy towards yourself, you're really going to see the universe take a hold of that and really embrace that change and embrace that energy shift. So the altar is saying to you, whatever you put into this, I will give back to you in spades. For those who wish, you can pause the video here and reflect on the cards. This is a group reading, however, I drew these cards especially for my Scorpio friends. What further information do they hold for you? Like I said, this is a group reading. If you're looking for something more personal or specific, you can follow the link below and schedule a private reading with myself. That said, I hope you found this video fun and helpful and that you're able to gain more insight and direction into what you should be shifting and releasing this fall equinox. I wanna thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching my video. I will continue to create fun and insightful videos for my Zodiac friends. If you have any suggestions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. I'm always up for feedback from my friends. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. You never know where I'm going to go next and I'd really hate for you to miss a video. Also, if you like this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. In some of my tiers, I have private readings with myself. I've provided a helpful link below, so why not go check it out? 
Until tomorrow, my Scorpio friends.